Now, retirement in life is inevitable, but not everyone is prepared for it. As humans advance in age, productive energy dwindles and bills must be paid, more especially healthcare. We all know that during retirement, income dwindles. It's good to prepare for the rainy days while it is still very sunny. Now, experts say real estate is a safe haven that can guarantee cash flow to maintain good lifestyle and achieve longevity. Now, this is our focus on the show for today. Welcome to Business Insight on Plus TV Africa. I am Justin Akadonye. Uh, first off, experts say Nigeria's cosmetic industry is lagging in profiting from the global market as numerous challenges, especially limited export opportunities, hinder prospect. Now, this was the position of indigenous manufacturers at an event held to showcase made in Nigeria cosmetics to the front burner. Uh, details in this report. The global cosmetics industry is projected to hit $463.5 billion by 2027, from $380.2 billion in 2019, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 5.3%, which depicts the industry as a growing and profitable one. Nigeria's cosmetics industry has a lot of micro, small and medium enterprises whose prospects are constrained by limited access to finance export constraint which hinder the prospect of a larger market among other challenges. These indigenous players share their thoughts on perception, prospects, including issues of standardization. The very first thing is uh, our cosmetic raw materials. Most of them are actually very pricey and the middlemen that we have who are purchasing this um, raw materials for us always hike the price so it's always difficult to have a stable price for a certain type of product our local manufacturers the very first thing that they need to be able to accomplish is proper professional formulated products there's no real regulatory body for cosmetic manufacturers and that would be a huge asset for us so that we know that we can rest assured that the products that we're buying are quality even the raw materials that we are using as well need to be certified and are quality and they can produce decent products for us. Kualawe explains that agencies such as Mints aims to prepare and equip players in the beauty and cosmetic sector for the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement and cross-border trade. So what we're looking at is how do we aggregate these cosmetics producers together and support them in strategic intervention from production to packaging to labeling to sales. You should know that in a couple of years to come, months to come, the, the exchange rate is going higher and higher every day. And the, inter the foreign product will become less attractive. Not because they are not good, but because of funding. So we should let them know that there's an alternative market in the Nigerian uh, cosmetic space. As industry players lament rigorous standardization process, the regulator says the narrative is changing. I understand that and I also am aware that people are afraid of coming to NAVDAQ. But um, I want to categorically state that NAVDAQ has some strategies or schemes that are welcoming micro-scale facilities. In fact, in line with the PEBEC mandate to make business easier to grow, to, to start and to grow in Nigeria. To assuage the burden of finance, the Nigeria Export Import Bank, NEXIM and the Export Promotion Council, NEPC, emphasize on exploring the opportunities abound in the cosmetics value chain. We, in Nigerian Export Promotion Council, uh, usually insist that products that is focusing on uh, outside world, external markets, uh, must achieve the standard quality required in that market. The, the, the commodities we export raw, people from other countries add value and send them back to us at several you know, uh, times the price of what we export. Now, in addition to the fact that we are not also creating jobs, we encourage our producers, mostly SMEs also, to add value you know, to their products. Africa's middle class has tripled in size in the last 30 years and is driving the continent's demand for cosmetics. As a result, indigenous cosmetic companies should race for market share. Uh, welcome back. Dr. Jane Onwamiri is the co-founder and group managing director of P1 Group. 
She joins us now to look at real estate investment for retirement. Many thanks for joining us on Business Insight and PLOS TV Africa. Yeah, thank you, Justin. Yeah, it is indeed our pleasure. Retirement is something most people you know, are a bit scared of because uh, most times they're not really certain about their income. But then saving for the rainy day is something that most people should be, almost everyone should be doing. But how come when we talk of retirement, uh, with, uh, issues like uh, real estate don't come to mind of people who save? Yeah, well, I think the major reason is that most people are not well informed mm. about real estate. Mm. You understand? A lot of people think they need a lot of money. But don't you need lots of money to in, get to your invest own in real, real estate? estate? But they don't need a lot of money to How invest so? in real estate. How does that work, really? Yeah, very simple. With as little money as you can afford, you can begin investment in real estate. Mm. You don't have to be thinking of maybe Victoria Island, Ikoi, and all that. Even going to the suburbs, we can start your investment. The one thing is certain, development will get to that place. Mm. And the value of those properties will skyrocket. And by then, assuming you started the investment at the age of 40, even 40, mm. in another 15, 20 years time, when you'll be approaching retirement, the value of that property would have gone so up that you can you have a real nest egg in your mm -hmm. hands. But many people think they need a lot of money. No, maybe, to maybe because, to okay, for instance, like, let's just uh, paint a bit of a scenario right now. Some people feel they don't really earn a lot. For instance, uh, someone who earns um, an average salary of about, uh, let's say, 70 to 80,000 naira, and he's going to retire in the next uh, 10, 15 years. Just what kind of plan can he be involved in to ensure that when he retires, he will not be thinking about how to keep on paying his landlord? The best thing is to do is to start. The most important thing in investment is to start. Mm. And that's what many people don't do. They want to wait until they have money. Like for instance, in our own company, with as little as 15,000 naira, you can start investment in real estate. Mm. So invariably, when one uh, gets his salary at the end of the month, uh, so a particular portion of it should be put aside for housing or mm. how exactly does it really work? A particular portion of it should be put aside for yourself. Mm, for yourself? Yes. Okay. A lot of people pay everybody except themselves. Mm. You buy shoe, don't you? Yes, I do buy so shoe. So you pay the shoe seller. Mm. You buy food, don't you? Yeah. So you pay the food seller. Yeah. But do you ever think of paying yourself? How do you go about paying yourself? Because first and foremost, you must put something aside for yourself. So even by putting aside as little as 10,000 euros, over 10,000 times five is what? 50,000. Okay. With that, you can start your real estate investment. Hmm. But, but then, you make it seem as if it's something that is so, so, so easy, something that can just be done. For instance, now, landed properties are not really readily available everywhere and that there are rigors involved when it comes to getting uh, houses. And sometimes some people fall prey to you know, unscrupulous uh, individuals who just scam them just with all sorts of um, you know, bogus investment plan for housing. Yeah. Um, I believe that land is ever there. I know my age today, and since I was born, I've been on land. Mm. And even when we are gone, land will still be there. So there is always an investment to be made. Always in real estate. I remember somebody telling me the father bought a plot of land in Lake Phase 1 many years ago for 25,000 naira. Can you begin to imagine that? You know what Lake Phase 1 is like today. Mm, but at the time, it was all swamp. It was all waterlogged. It was no man's land. Nobody wanted to go there. But some people went there. And today they're cashing out on it. And now talking about the people that may swindle you out of your money, and they will always be there. They will always be there. But there are companies that are ready to stand by you all the way. Mm. No matter what happens, they're there. Mm. Many of us in the industry are here. Okay, okay, fine. So we don't just get into promote, promotion. No, I'm not course, interested in <laughs> no, I, But I really need to understand because I want it to be very practical. Okay. So people uh, who uh, may not really have uh, like uh, 
a, a formal job, for instance, uh, someone who is um, uh, a proprietor and uh, an entrepreneur and he has um, a business of his own and uh, he is actually on a rented property right now and he goes to the regals when it's time to pay the rent, uh, he goes helter skelter, you know, borrowing money to, to pay that. So for someone like that who does not really have a formal plan, who doesn't get a salary every month, yeah. how does he go about um, you know, investments as this, so that maybe when he gets to 60 or 50 or thereabout, whenever he intends to retire, this issue will not be like um, a very big uh, one for him. The best thing is to start. Start with whatever you have. Start putting outside money. There are various companies that are selling properties at instrumental payment. They can start with that. There are also various companies that give even people that are working opportunity to earn income through real estate. They can start with that. It can be a side hustle for them. It can be another business for them. But they can make money from that. But the most important thing is to put money aside. Mm. No matter what you're doing, now you're not putting money aside, how will money accumulate? Mm. But if you put money aside, the more you put money into a pocket, the more it swells up, right? So eventually we have a sizable amount of money to start. Wherever, and it doesn't matter where. Mm. Because development will eventually get to that place. Mm. You know, I remember um, when I first came to live in Aja area, the whole place was still swamp and waterlogged. And waterlogged. But today, development has reached Epe. Mm. People are now going to Epe to buy. So you can imagine people that bought in Epe so many years ago when the land was maybe to a 5,000 dollar plot, what they'll be doing to them. Mm. So the most important thing is to start. So invariably, what you're, what you're saying in essence is that it doesn't really matter the location because some people believe that, uh, you know, you talked about uh, your own investment plan and then how you started at Ajab. But some people believe that, uh, why would they want to put money in maybe a place called Langbasa or Ekbe or some Iweko or some, you know, hinterland when they're not so certain of, uh, you know, infrastructural development, just they don't even know how how soon those places might begin to see all those necessary uh, facilities that most people enjoy but in Some town. people took that leap many years ago. Okay. Even tomato sellers, even pepper sellers, they go that far to buy. And you see a lot of landladies in those areas, women who sell tomato, pepper, all those things, the landladies in different areas, because they went to buy. Even I cannot afford the uh, Banana Island and all the rest of them. But we must buy somewhere and you build your money from those places. Mm. The most important thing is to start. Is to start. All right, you're still watching uh, Business Insight on PLUS TV Africa. We're looking at a retirement plan, uh, investment plan for retirement, and we still have Dr. Onwamiru with us in the house. We'll take a quick break and return with more. Don't go away. Welcome back. It's still Business Insight and Plus TV Africa. Real estate is our focus for today on the show, specifically retirement plan. Uh, Dr. Omeri says uh, to us that uh, you don't have to wait. You can start um, small, no matter what it is, you can start right now. So let's continue really now. So we've talked about um, starting small, but for how long can you save exactly to be sure that uh, you can get the plan of your choice? Of your choice. Mm. Now, that is where the big question mark is. Mm. Your choice. You know, there are two ways I look at real estate. Okay. I look at each one from what, where I would want to live, mm. what I want personally. And then I also look at it from the business angle. I think the first thing is to look at it from the business angle. Okay. Assuming you have a little money, you don't have much money, and you go very far away, and you buy like one acre of land. One acre of land is six plus, right? Yeah. One day that place will become very valuable. You can sell two plus, you can sell three plus, and use the money to develop one. Yeah. So the important thing is to start. And it does not matter where the location is. 
so long as uh, development is moving towards that direction. Some of us that were in Lagos know what Morocco used to be. Mm. I'm sure that if people were giving properties for free in Morocco, they would not, even they would not take it. Back in the they day. look at it today. That's Lekki now. That's Lekki now. That's mm. Oniru mm. now. Yeah. That's Victoria Island extension of course, now. Yes. But if people were giving properties then, mm. they will not take it. Mm. So people need to open their eyes to really understand that real estate is one of the best ways. Mm. There may be other ways. But since that's the business, I mean, I would say it's one of the best ways of keeping money aside. Okay, but specifically, what I need to understand really is that, uh, is this uh, like a, maybe like a five-year plan? In five years, can you save and uh, you'll be certain that uh, you can have a roof over your head? You know, you know one thing about time? Yes. That time is so fleeting. It is, yes. Before you know it, five years is upon you. Before you know it, 10 years is upon you. Before you know it, 15 years is upon you. So what we are thinking about when we development get to that place, development is moving. Mm. So the most important thing is to start. Mm. Just get started. That's what I would tell anybody. Get started. You will find a company that has the kind of properties that you can afford even now. Yes. You put money together, you begin. So many people allow small, small payment plans. Even families that own properties, they allow small, small... But then again, these investment plans, can they be do done just individually? Uh, can it also be done uh, maybe as a group? Something? Yes, of course. Yes, of like course. Like a wife and a husband can decide to uh, you know, pull money together to save. Yes, the, husband, the husband, wife and husband already won. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that won. So okay. it's not about it's everything they're doing, they're doing for themselves. So mm. that won. Okay. It should be part of their plan. Investing in real estate should be part of their plan for their retirement and for their children's future. Okay. Anyway, but a group of friends, cooperatives, can also come together, put money together, buy a property. Mm. When they gather money again, they can come together, put money together, and buy a property. We have so many of them. And when that property appreciates in value, they can decide to sell, mm. get the money, and move on to another location and buy. So people can actually be in real estate without being fully in it on a daily basis. The most important thing, again, I repeat, is to get started. Let me use myself as an example. Mm. My husband and I had a business that was doing well. We were making money, but we never thought of investing in real estate. And when that business failed, we were homeless for two and a half years. Wow. And in those two and a half years, we lived in 13 different places. That was what gave rise to P1 today. Mm. That was what gave rise to what P1 is doing today. You understand? Yeah. We started with little money, mm. promoting real estate for another company, mm. and eventually started doing the business ourselves. And of course, the rest they say is history. The most important thing is for everybody to start. Somebody like you that is in this kind of business may not have time to deal in real estate the way we do, True. but you can start investing. Mm. The staff here can form a cooperative and they buy properties together. Okay. They can buy it in very far away. Mm place. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I was going to ask something because there's a recent development now that just came with the PENCOM that okay. uh, uh, with your retirement savings account, uh, you can uh, do some sort of um, a mortgage uh, and um, can also be a landlord even as you work towards your retirement. <laughs> but I know that has been there for a very long time. Okay. We're going to wait for you to become realistic. Oh, you, you don't think it might No, work? I'm not saying so. Okay. I'm not saying so. You understand? Okay. Things change all the time. And it's a very good plan for those who earn salary. Mm. But remember, you also asked about those who, who don't are involved here, who work sector. for themselves. Yes. They don't have such okay. opportunity. Mm. But they should also invest in real estate. True. Little by little. little. Okay. They right. will accumulate a lot of properties that will even amaze them in five, ten years' time. All right. And one thing about time is that ten years is here. Before you know it, 10 years is yeah. upon us. Okay, let's still talk about the PENCOM plan. You said you have a bit of um, some doubt or what exactly? No, I don't work there. Okay. I don't know how they operate. Mm. But what I'm trying to say that it's okay for those who earn income. Okay. I, I employ people. Yes. And we pay their pension to yeah. their various pension accounts. Yes. You understand? I don't work in those companies, mm. so I don't know how they... Operate. Mm. No, but now that we talk about it, I'm going to go and learn more 
about, about it. it. But what about, about the thousands of people, who millions the of people sector. who don't earn salary? Salary. Okay. What happens to them? There must be opportunities. There must be windows for them. Mm. And one of the mm. windows is for them to just start putting money aside for themselves. Yeah. Every time they make money, they should put something aside. aside. And with as little as yeah. 25,000 naira, 50,000 naira in some companies, they can begin to invest All right. in real estate. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, Dr. Omer, for your time and, of course, sharing these insights to people who may want to be landlord as um, they retire. I do appreciate the time. Thank you, Justin. All right, uh, you've heard it all you know, from our guest today. You don't have to have the millions um, today just to be a landlord in the future. You can start with the little you have from your salaried income you know, over time and just put a little aside and uh, plan for yourself. And in no time, you could be a landlord as you retire. That's the size of the show for today. I am Justin Akademie. Uh, see you again next time.